Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. In today's video, we are talking about Uber Eats and specifically, we're talking about the bad parts of Uber Eats, the negative cons about driving and delivering for Uber Eats. So if you're thinking about doing Uber Eats, well, here are seven reasons why you should not do Uber Eats. And honestly, hey, it's better than, you know, to learn faster about why you don't want to do it. You know, you don't have to learn the hard way. You don't have to go out and do Uber Eats deliveries for weeks just to discover that it might not be for you. So I hope this does help you on your journey of, uh, you know, finding gig work and how to make money and maybe this will help you out. So before I get started, I do want to thank our sponsor, Solo. Solo is an incredible business app for gig workers that does help drivers earn guaranteed pay every single time they go out and drive and they also help them with mileage tracking, tracking expenses, tracking your pay so you have a better overall experience as a gig worker. Solo does work for apps like Uber, Lyft, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Instacart, Amazon Flex, and all the major apps that you do know. And now, for a special time until the end of the month, if you sign up with our link, just for signing up completely for free anywhere in the country, they're gonna send you $15, yes. Can live in California, Nebraska, Idaho, anywhere in the country, and they will send you $15 just for signing up. Now you have to do that before the end of the month, and then at that point it does hit, go down to $10. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first reason you might not want to do Instacart is because how low the rates are. Driving for Uber Eats, you're gonna get paid a much lower dollar amount than doing Uber or Lyft or Instacart, right? When you're driving for Uber or Lyft, Sometimes you're gonna be making 30, 40 bucks in one ride, and that's pretty normal. With Uber Eats, your average order is gonna be around five to $10, so you're gonna to have to do a lot more deliveries to make a good amount of money. All right, number two is that you have to pay for all of your expenses. When you're doing Uber Eats, you're paying for all of the wear and tear you have on your car. You know, driving around, that's a lot of wear and tear in your car, especially with Uber Eats, as opposed to a ride share, you're doing a lot of stop and go, stop and go. And you know, that's just because the distances are usually a lot smaller, but you're, it's going to put a lot more wear and tear in your car and you're going to get worse gas mileage driving, doing a lot of stop and go, stop and go. Obviously you have to pay for your gas, car depreciation, and yeah, that's about it. Okay, the third reason why you might not want to do Uber Eats is if you don't live in a busy area. If you're not in an area where a lot of people are ordering food from home or if you don't live around a lot of popular restaurants or fast food places, this is probably not the job for you. You do want to live in an area that, you know, a lot of people are ordering food from home, you know, food to their workplace, wherever it might be. So that way you do have a consistent flow of orders. You do not want to be waiting in between orders. All right, number four is that you might not want to do Uber Eats because you don't like dealing with customers. Well, I know what you're thinking is a lot of time you're just dropping it off, but at the same time, you do need to be checking in with your customers. A lot of times that you get to the restaurant and the food's not ready or something's missing and you do need to be checking in with your customers. You do need to go the extra mile, like getting extra silverware, getting extra napkins, extra sauces, and just doing things for your customer. So yeah, you're not going to be face to face with them, but you do still have to kind of cater to your pass to your customer and make sure that they're happy. All right, number five, and this might surprise you, but I wouldn't do Uber Eats if you don't have already a decent amount of savings because you are going to be using you know, your own car and your own expenses, you know, there's gonna be, you're, you should have some money set aside for what happens if your car breaks down and you need to spend 500 bucks to fix your car. Doing Uber Eats, like I said, you're using a lot of your own money to work. It's, I know, it's not ideal. So I wanna make sure that you're aware of this. You know, if you're doing an Uber Eats delivery and you get a parking ticket because you parked in the wrong spot or you're, tire you need to replace your tires or get oil changes like you need to have some wiggle room so you can pay for those expenses all right number six is if you're a really safe person and if doing something dangerous freaks you out i wouldn't do this a lot of times when you're doing uber eats for, number one when you're driving around you know you're at risk of getting into a car accident number two a lot of times when you're delivering sometimes you're gonna have to go to an apartment complex on the seventh floor and sometimes they're not in the nicest neighborhoods or you have to deliver at night, you know, picking up at McDonald's, getting in your car, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, nightmares happen, accidents happen, especially if you're delivering to a motel or something. Like I've had to deliver to a motel before 
and I had to walk through and I was like, it was getting around sunset time. So thankfully it was still light out, but if it was at night, I would not feel safe. And a lot of times going to somebody's house, their front door, you know, you never might, you never know what might happen. You know, Uber does not do background checks on their customers. All right, and number seven is if you are afraid of creepy or weird customers. Like I said, you do have to a lot of times hand the food to the customer. It's not only drop-offs. The, the customer can choose um, hand it to me or just drop it off by the door. And a lot of times, you know, people open the door and let's say, you know, you're a young person and there's an old creepy man and you know, he's hitting on you, flirting with you, inviting you to come in. It can put you in a really dangerous situation if you know, you're driving up in the hills, for instance, and um, you know, you're kind of stuck there. Like you cannot, I mean, you can drive with somebody else, but you know, you're, that's their time you're using too. So anyways, those are just the seven negative downsides and seven reasons why you might not want to do Uber Eats. So let me know your thoughts on this video. And again, big shout out to Solo, our video sponsor. Uh, again, they're giving all of our viewers $15 when they use our link to sign up for Solo and linking your gig account. It's the business app for drivers. I think every single person should sign up right now using our link to get your 15 bucks. Thanks for watching guys, bye now.